Amazing facts about Napoleon Bonaparte. He wasn't really short. Napoleon Bonaparte, apart from being known as the greatest conqueror in the world, has become synonymous with shortness. Well, Napoleon was about 5 featuring 5 inches tall, which was an average height for that era. British satirists and cartoonists depicted the general as comically diminutive, which became very popular across Europe. So, this belief became deeply established, so much so that a psychological complex specific to short men was named after him. He had a formal military training. Napoleon was born as Napoleon A.D. Bonaparte on August 15, 1769, on the island of Corsica, which had recently become a French territory. Born in a prominent Corsican family, young Napoleon was sent to mainland France for school. He attended the prestigious Ecole Militaire in Paris and became the first Corsican to graduate from the school. At school, his classmates made fun of his provincial and unrefined accent. Later, he dropped the extra vowels in his name to make it sound more French. At the age of 16, Napoleon became an officer in the French army. He used to be a Corsican nationalist. Today, Napoleon is known for having successfully established the first empire of France. But as a young man, he supported the freedom of his birthplace Corsica from the French rule. His parents had opposed the French rule and young Napoleon echoed their opinions. He also wrote several treatises on the history of Corsica in which he criticized the French. It was only after a falling out with Corsican resistance leader Pasquale Parley that Napoleon considered and made France his home. He wrote a romance novel. It is difficult to imagine this battle-hardened revolutionary writing a romance novel, but that's true. Penned in 1795 at the age of 26, Cliso Netugini is a brief romance story of a young soldier and a woman. The novella was never published during his lifetime. After his demise, it was divided into segments and sold as souvenirs at auction houses for years to come. It is believed to be a semi-autobiographical account of his relationship with Desiree Clary. His first wife narrowly escaped execution. At 26, Napoleon married Josephine de Beauharnais, a 32-year-old widowed socialite who had two children. Her first husband was Alexandre de Beauharnais, a French aristocrat. Alexandre was guillotined during the French Revolution. Josephine was also imprisoned and scheduled for execution. Just the day before her trial, the government was deposed and executions halted. She narrowly escaped the guillotine and eventually met Napoleon at a party in 1795. He would walk the streets in disguise. When Napoleon was at the peak of his powers, he developed a strange habit. He would dress up as a lower-class bourgeois and wander the streets of Paris. His aim was to find out what the common man on the street really thought of him. He reportedly quizzed random pedestrians on their views about the emperor, that is, himself. The last mystery. Napoleon passed away on St. Helena at the age of 51, reportedly due to a long, unpleasant illness. Of course, being the powerful emperor that he was, his demise is shrouded in many conspiracy theories. Some suggest that he was slowly poisoned with arsenic, perhaps in his wine or food, as his hair revealed high levels of the chemical. But critics say this was just because of the high content of arsenic in everyday items in that era. The official cause was recorded as a prolonged case of stomach illness.